How's it going everyone? We have yet another a bit of an update on Stellar Blade as far as its sales numbers are concerned. Whenever this commercial data for Stellar Blade comes out, I feel like it's very relevant to cover it. Given that it's a new IP and new IPs doing well uh, is something that should be celebrated within gaming, especially one that I feel like the gaming community receives as well as Stellar Blade has. And guess what? It continues to do really well. A bit of an update on Marvel's Wolverine in the sense that don't be expecting any new updates on that game for quite a while and a game that we are expected to hear about shortly is a PlayStation console exclusive will be coming out on PC as well we'll talk that at the end of this video but first of all Famitsu has published its estimated physical game software data for Japan and once again Stellar Blade has remained the highest selling game of the week ahead of a bunch of Nintendo Switch titles it's actually insane Stellar Blade is number one, and then it's a bunch of Nintendo Switch games. Um, the Switch just abso absolutely murders it in uh, Japan, but nice to see Stellar Blade continuing to sell fairly well. Again, it looks like this game is exceeding expectations greatly. I know that Shift Up themselves said that the game is just exceeding expectations. I feel like, you know, based on the data that I can assess, obviously Shift Up has way more data than me, so them saying it's exceeding expectations is pretty exciting because when you hear from Square Enix about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and uh, Final Fantasy XVI underperforming, uh, and those games are exclusives and a big reason Square Enix said that you know they think these games might be underperforming is the fact that they didn't go with a multi-platform release. Stellar Blade is obviously going to have different expectations than what Square Enix is going to have for a IP with such a lineage like Final Fantasy has especially with Final Fantasy 7 but still Stellar Blade was a PS5 exclusive and it looks like it's exceeding expectations. I however do remain of the opinion yes great that Stellar Blade is exceeding expectations but I think this game would have crushed it on PC and legitimately probably 1.8x or 2x its sales numbers. I don't think that's too big of a stretch at all given the audience on PC these days but good to see that the game does well on PlayStation and you know Sony forked over quite a bit of money to shift up and did publish the game so all the power to them and hopefully uh it does continue as an ip we do know that they are considering a sequel given everything that was said in the recent statements by shift up in their financials i'm led to believe that a uh, Stellar Blade is absolutely going to get a sequel. Look, when a new IP does this well, which is incredibly difficult to do, um, you capitalize on it and you release a sequel. That is just obvious to do. Whether it be, you know, Stellar Blade 2 or a spiritual success, you do something of the style of Stellar Blade now that you have the foundational gameplay elements in place. And given how uh, popular of a character Eve is, Stellar Blade 2 makes all the sense in the world. And Eve, I've been of the mindset that if Stellar Blade does well, Eve can be a literal mascot for Sony and PlayStation, depending on how, you know, the rights and whatnot goes with who owns the IP for Stellar Blade and everything like that. But good to see that game continuing to do well. And also, I do expect the game to be ported to PC. It's a matter of when rather than if, uh, given that this is a third-party title. It could go the route of something like Neo, where Neo came out on PC nine months after its console release, um, instead of the typical two to three year window that you're seeing with a lot of PlayStation exclusives that are developed in house by PlayStation. First party titles like a Tsushima, like a Horizon, that take two, three, four years to come out. This one might be a little bit different. Moving on from that, a game that's going to take a couple of years to come out, and I wouldn't be expecting an update on it anytime in the near future, is Insomniac's Marvel's. Wolverine, they put out a simple tweet, we'll share news when the time is right, and the time is not now. The right time is not now. Based on the leaks, Marvel's Wolverine is seemingly scheduled for a release uh, in 2026. It is 2024. I get why they revealed the game in 2021. Look, it's a game that obviously captured the interest of a lot of people, and from my standpoint, it does obviously annoy me, but I have a friend that literally after the Marvel's Wolverine trailer aired, uh, he was bugging out and talking about how he needs to get a PlayStation 5 immediately. And if you guys don't remember, that trailer was such like a short trailer that told you nothing. And this friend's reaction to that trailer was, oh my God, did you see Marvel's Wolverine? The game looks insane. That's how more casual consumers take CG trailers. So while I bug out about CG trailers, guys, I don't think my buddy is in the minority when they see a trailer like that. 
they might get duped into thinking that game is coming out sooner than it is. I know for a fact that happened with Elder Scrolls 6 as well, so it's something that a lot of publishers do, and it's smart. It's not like you're attaching a date to the game, but if you're revealing it in 2021, a lot of people are going to get baited into thinking it's coming out in the next year or two. That's not the case, and the game's not going to be out until 2026. I remember back in 2021, people were talking about 2024 being a long time away, but uh, a year that they expect Wolverine to come out, and that was kind of best case scenario. Y'all, do you think it's coming out in 2024? There ain't no snowball's chance in hell it's coming out in 2024. 2026 would be ideal, and given how game development goes, I could easily see it get pushed to 2027. You just don't know. And, um, you know, I am of the mindset, why do any more game updates for this game if it's not coming out until 2026? Showcase is happening. There's no reason to do a gameplay drop. You know when you do a gameplay drop for Wolverine, at earliest it would be showcased next year, but probably the best route to go would be something like they did with Spider-Man 2 last year where you have Wolverine close out the big PlayStation event for 2026 in the summer and then it comes out in the fall. That's when I think we're gonna get the big Wolverine update. Obviously gameplay has leaked and I gotta say that leaked gameplay looks absolutely tremendous, but that's still very, very early on, so uh, keep that in mind as well. But uh, yeah, don't expect to hear about Wolverine anytime in the near future. There's rumblings that Marvel's Venom is going to come out next year as well, and that might be a smaller scale Miles Morales style game. Uh, but yeah, Insomniac are the goats as far as PlayStation first party goes, so... Give them time to cook. I just wish that they wouldn't have revealed the game so early. But that's my personal opinion. Again, when I think about my boy that back in 2021 saw that trailer and was like, I need to get a PS5 immediately. I know why they do it. And yeah, there is an element of let's sucker some people into thinking that the game is coming out soon. Like, I, I do feel like that's what they do. And look. Insomniac's not the only one that does it, PlayStation's not the only one that does it, Bethesda did the exact same thing with Elder Scrolls 6. They absolutely suckered people into thinking that that game was coming out in our lifetime when it's not. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> Insomniac is not exclusive in this. A lot of publishers do it. Uh, so, it is what it is. And Elder Scrolls 6, I think that reveal was more egregious than anything else. So, um... Yeah, but that was Bethesda kind of deflecting from the standpoint of them doing a lot of live service mobile nonsense. So, like, when you contextualize every reveal, you understand why the publisher does it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to get annoyed by it. Lastly, I do want to note that Deal Labs has noted that Concord's announcement is expected in the next 15 days. We'll reveal gameplay and characters. Now, as far as CG trailers go, Wolverine is at least an established IP. I think Concord legitimately was the worst game reveal of all time. Uh, I've said that over and over again. For a new IP with that hor horrid trailer, I don't even know what that trailer was, but somebody did put out... Uh, a good point in my comment section recently where they actually thought Fair Game was the worst trailer in comparison to Concord because Concord was so stupid as a trailer that it at least got them interested and wondering in what the game was when Fair Game did not do that. So, I mean, if you want to look at it like that, I don't know. The only thing that Concord, that it stands out for me is like the burger and I don't know why the burger was there, but I'm sure maybe we'll have a revelation. Maybe the burger man is one of the main characters in Concord and uh, yeah, he's gonna pop off in this game but i don't know um it's gonna be a playstation 5 pc title live service game we'll see how it turns out we don't even know if it's gonna be a pay-to-play game if it's gonna be a free-to-play title but hopefully it turns out well um you know you really can't say much about it because that trailer was such memes that's another trailer it's like bro why, why are we revealing games like this uh a year out or a year and a half out if it's out by the end of the year it's just so bewildering to me um that reveal and the fair game reveal was just awful, awful, awful stuff last year. But nevertheless, that's going to do it for me. Stellar Blade remains on top in Japan from a sales number standpoint. And Somniac notes that Wolverine, don't be expecting updates anytime soon, you guys. If it's scheduled for a 2026 release, I expect an update at earliest, mid-25. And really, the big update should probably just come the same way they did it with Spider-Man 2 in mid-2026. And Concord's announcement is expected in the next 15 days. That's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.